with the addition of depots in Cities in Motion 2, a lot of people have been saying, oh no, now that bus lines and tram lines or whatever have to be connected to a depot, we can no longer have circular lines anymore. Well, that's untrue, and I'm going to show you how you can create a simple circular route by using buses. First, we're going to need to create a depot. I'm going to go with this small one and I'm going to demolish these buildings. There we go. Then I'm going to put a few buses in that depot. Uh, let's go for those ones. Let's have the six. And then, as you would, we're just going to place bus stops in a circular fashion. So, if you can see, I want to be connecting the white collars up. You see, there's a high density of white collar homes here, along with many workplaces and leisure here and here. So, I'm going to do a loop around this housing estate through the along this avenue and around this bit here. So, let's build those lines then. Bus stop. These buildings here have a lot of white collar um, workplaces. So I need to make sure we connect them up. to do is when you create the line you just got to make sure it starts and stops at the same place and then the buses as you do you have to assign it to the depot but if you just go around and connect all the stops up and then before you go back to the depot you click on the first stop you created. Uh, where did I go then? Oh dear. Now if we just click on that one, which is where we started, and then click on the depot, and you see it creates a little loop here, but the bus will only go back to the depot if it feels it needs to for maintenance. So here we go, we'll follow this bus round now. If we increase the timetable a bit, we can... Have more buses going around. If we speed it up, if we click on that bus. So this line hasn't put the condition down by too much. I dare say it will be about 85 by the time it gets to 
back to the starting position and the game will deem that as fine to go around again in theory yep see there we go look going around so there you have it one circular line and you can do that multiple times have it going around in the other direction yeah now I'm going to show you how we can use the data views to create profitable um, well in in this video I'm going to use bus lines but it should be able to apply to any type of transportation in the game um, if we first have a look uh, you want to use the buildings and then here we've got classes of people in the city um, that any group here this shows just general um, where everything is so as you can see there's large amounts of housing and you've got plenty of leisure and workplaces but it's not particularly useful as it doesn't show what we want to connect why, where the most profit will be so we're going to have a look see what we can make of our lines As, as you can see here, the these buildings are, although they're green, they're not as green as these because if you look in this house, there aren't actually any blue collar workers at all. Uh, they're only they're only so highlighted green to show the fact that they are resident houses, but they're not blue collar houses. However, if we look in one of these that are bright green you'll notice they're all blue collar workers I mean it probably won't be the same in all of them oh, yeah. so I think we just got lucky there but where it is bright green is where all the blue collar workers are going to be living um, so here again tourists you've got a hotel yeah they're all going to be staying in hotels not many pensioners living in the sea I can tell there's sort of some, in, some dotted about in the apartment buildings in the sea centre there uh, business people are going to be having the more detached larger houses on the outskirts of the city students tend to be dotted about there doesn't seem to be many students in in this city at all uh, no. uh, these are slightly greener as you can see than these students tend to be dotted about as they tend to be living with other people uh, sort of either bed sits or with their parents I guess um, I think we're going to use the blue colour in this sea you can see there's a lot of them living here and there's workplaces and there's quite a bit of leisure for them here so I think we're going to connect this clump of houses with this group and here and we should have a fairly profitable line so I'm going to start uh, I'm going to make sure that we can still see the highlighting even when we go onto the construction menu and start by building a large bus depot out on the outskirts here. That'll do this nicely. Um, let's make construction stops. Hmm. I think my bus line will probably start from here. So that's the first stop of the line. And then it comes along, it goes around there. Now, as you see, I'm creating a, a linear line, which means that once the bus reaches its destination, it will return on the same path. Now, the, these are more profitable for, to be honest, quite obvious reasons. If we look at this line, for example, if a passenger wanted to go from this stop 
to his workplace in this hospital here, he was going. He would have to. It would only be a few stops round to the hospital, and he'd get off and uh, get off and walk to the hospital. That that's not a problem. But then to get home, you're gonna have to travel all the way around here, all the way through the housing estate, and get back home. Whereas if he could have just gone around there and back again then he's more likely to use the bus. In this situation, I very much doubt many people are going from here to here because it just takes too long to get back, which we can probably see by the fact that this line is really not very profitable. and We're not even running that many buses and it's still not profitable. As you'll see with this line, we will soon build up quite a large profit, especially as this is only our first line. There are no lines connecting this. Obviously, as you connect more and more lines to your network, you'll get more you'll get more profit because. Uh, there's more destinations for them to choose from. Now, as you see, this is going to be the where the bus the bus route terminates. Now, I could just use as as you would have done in the first game, just loop around the block and come back. But where's the fun in that? So I'm going to build its own dedicated bus loop. So as it comes down there. It will take a turning off, loop round, yeah, like that. So it'll come back and rejoin the line, pick passengers up straight away, and carry on. Oh, what's, what's he done there? Remove that stop. Uh, remove that stop. Oh, I got them the wrong way around as well. I'm just going to add a stop there and a stop there. So yeah, that that will also that's also a lot faster than having to loop around the block and wait at junctions and all that. I mean, there are traffic lights because it's going onto a four-lane road, but it will be a lot faster. So now I'm going to quickly build that line. Um, train you on. Oh, first, we need to add some buses to the line. I dare say this will have quite a lot of traffic, so I'm going to purchase 10 of the large buses. And as we did before, we start the. Oh, we can turn the that off now because we've built all our stops. So now we can just start at the depot. And then. Yep, and there's our first stop. We go to our second stop, um, and down here. There we are. So that's the dropping off stop and then it will be empty around the bus loop and pick people up from there unless of course there are people too lazy to cross the road and then we I mean with the default cities that come with the game there are many one way streets which sometimes makes doing such a as you see already the bus stops are filling up because we've connected to places that people want to visit. Um, back down there, and we don't want this to be a loop. So if if we just click there, buses would come back, and then they soon start breaking down. So I'm going to create a cheap little stop here, which it which will act as a uh, a drop off stop, as you will and then we connect back to the depot and um, people also like regular buses as well so we're going to 
configure these. Run a weekday timetable from Monday to Saturday. Now, you want to start regular buses fairly early in the morning so that passengers, especially this one where it starts at the workplace and ends at the residence, you want them to be able to, you want the first buses to start getting to the the homes quite early on in the day. So we're going to do hour and a half buses, get rid of the rush hour buses. And then on a weekday, it's not going to be such a popular service, but we're going to want to start five. And that should be start bringing in some profit. I mean, as you can see already, the bus is pulling that that route is pulling in a hell of a lot more profit than what that one has. And this has only been running for a very short time. And this bus has been running for a very long time. It's been running while we've built this one, and while uh, I was preparing between creating this one and this one. So yeah, I hope that was helpful to anyone, and uh, enjoy.